home. Yeah, it, we, we nurtured this and Christian nationalists use that. And therefore, um, we brought it on ourselves, even though I agree with Perry and Whitehead that in many ways, the Christian nationalists are, are kind of using us. Not so much we, we, evangelicals are not all Christian nationalists, but they are using us. They're recruiting very well because mm -hmm. we made, we made a lot of our people recruitable. Yeah. Tim. For okay. I don't, I have no earthly idea. I still do not have any earthly idea. Um, when the first time I saw something about quote unquote Christian nationalism was, I, I just, I just don't remember. Evidently, the idea is if you say the only hope for a nation is Christ, that makes you a Christian nationalist. Or if you in any way say uh, that it is better to have nations than to have globalism. It is better to have local governments that is responsive to the people and lives amongst the people than it is to have somebody um, in a city in Europe uh, run your, 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 your town and everything else. Uh, localism, okay, is, is that nationalism? Is it, is, is it a recognition that the Bible says that God establishes borders and nations and peoples and judges nations and peoples and raises up kings? And is that this Christian nationalism thing? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I personally do not. Well, I might know in, in an extended way two or three people who had a quasi-religious attachment to Donald Trump. But not any serious Christians I know of. They all recognized his many flaws and the and many problems that were there. But they also recognized that the other options were far worse on a worldview level. But there is Tim Keller saying, you all, you brought this on yourselves. You brought this on yourselves. 